everyone, everyone from the vault here. Welcome to another Fallout 4 video. Now guys, this one is Zane Invaders. Here's the deal. I never played any of the Pip-Boy games here in Fallout 4. So I decided now that Fallout 76 has been released and there's a brand new Pip-Boy game in there, I'm definitely going to be playing that one for you. Let's go ahead though and play the ones from Fallout 4. This is something I've been kicking around for almost six months now and I haven't had the chance to do yet. But here's the deal. I'm having issues with my Fallout 4 game. I cannot save at all here in the game on PS4. I am either going to have to completely restart my character or go way, 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 way back before I even installed any of the DLC and hopefully be able to make my game work again. I've really been struggling with it, so it's something that is kind of a pain in the ass here. So we're going to go ahead and play Zeta Invaders because I have time to do that. So I have no idea what I'm doing. We'll go ahead and try to figure it out. Oh, okay, so I'm basically playing Space Invaders. Okay, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> well, it was definitely something I wanted to go ahead and do for you guys. So like I said, I've been thinking for a while of just kind of doing some of these little Pip-Boy games, see how good we can do. Probably not very good, let's be honest. I'm not very good at this stuff. I'm still going to be doing Fallout 4 mod reviews, though. Don't worry, we'll still be doing them. I just got to go ahead and get moving on them. I got to get my game, though, back into a... Uh... And if you are somebody who knows all about the Zero Kilobytes error... Error. Error. If you're somebody who knows how to solve that error, or maybe you've had issues with that error before, I have done everything that's on the Bethesda website. Everyone always sends me the Bethesda website's uh, like walkthrough of how to solve the zero kilobytes issue. None of them have ever worked for me. So thank you for the, the suggestions, but none of that ever works for me. So if you... Oh, no! How many lives do I have left? Okay. If you happen to know, like, maybe, oh, this worked for me, or this worked for somebody else I know, let me know. If if it's just that I have to start a new game, well, let's be honest, I'm probably never going to be able to start a new game, but I definitely want to be able to play it, so it's a little frustrating here to not have that option. It is kind of cool, though, to know that I can at least go into Freemaker and just make a bunch of crap if I need to. I will say Fallout 4 has got some great mods in it. I hope that 76 eventually has some good mods, too. That would be awesome if we can do some good stuff in there. Oh man, I am not good at Space Invaders. So this is probably not the game for me. Man, I really want to play Grognak. That's the one that I'm, I'm really getting in, or really going to get into. I have a feeling, but this is just the one I wanted to start with since it was the one that, honestly, I feel like is a little bit more. They're all definitely real world. Like obviously, Red Menace is, is you know, a Donkey Kong kind of ripoff. But this is the one I was like, yeah, I've played Space Invaders, so at least I, I kind of know. <laughs> and I figured. Zeta Invaders, must be Space Invaders, I don't know. <laughs> but it is, so it's actually working out pretty good. So again, just doing some little stuff here in Fallout 4. If you have suggestions, dang it, if you have suggestions on how to fix the zero kilobytes error, please feel free to let me know. I would love to be able to actually play the game normally again. It's very frustrating that I can't. It's just, it's amazing how much time I spend trying to make my Fallout 4 game work. At this point, oh dang it, I'm so bad at this. At this point, I spend so much time trying to make my Fallout 4 game work, I feel like I never even get to play the game itself because I'm just so busy. Why wouldn't it move? Oh, that was really weird. My controller like froze for a second there and I couldn't move. So it just, it it's kind of sucks because you end up getting so like bogged down, you know, because you can't, I can't uh, stop playing the game if I'm building a settlement and I just have to like kind of hope and pray that it's not going to shut the game down on me. Because sometimes it just shuts the game down outright. Because it's just like, okay, I've got, you know, too much installed on me now. I wish there was a way to reset all of your, all of your uh, settlements. That's actually something I would really like to do. I would like the option to reset all my settlements. What? I was totally behind the building. Bullshit. I was behind that building. I feel like we're both just destroy- no. <laughs> I very clearly just sucked at that one. Wow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Guess who's really bad at Space Invaders? That would be me! Who's also then bad at Zeta Invaders. God, this reminds me so much so of like my first cell phone. Playing Snake and- oh, what was that cavern game called? You like went around a cavern and you picked stuff up and it felt like really advanced for the time. The 90s were a time, guys. The 90s were a time. Ooh, I got points for saving that cow, I guess. That's legit. 
So have you have you guys heard the conspiracy theory that the government blames cow mutilations on aliens, but it's actually the government who's mutilating the cows? Because apparently the government like knows that we have background radiation or something. That's like the whole conspiracy theory. That the government knows that they've like poisoned our water supplies and stuff. That's right. I'm giving you random conspiracy theories here. No! <laughs> but you didn't think you were going to get that. Oh! Man, I am so bad at this game. <laughs> okay, we'll try again. We'll try again. So I'll be honest. The reason I'm actually doing this right now is because Fallout 76 kicked me off. Um, the servers went down. And it's funny because I know somebody else who's, who's actually in the exact same state as me who's currently playing right now. And he's like, nope, my servers are just fine. Really? Because I totally got kicked off the game. I mean, it just, like, it shut down out of nowhere. It was, like, it just logged me off. In fact, there's going to be a video of it. I'm not entirely sure if this, if that video is already out by the time this has gone up or if it hasn't come out yet. I'm trying my best to, like, put out Fallout 4 and 76 content at the exact same time, but I'm going to be honest, it's not easy. Like, I've got so much content that I, I can do in 76, and I, I'm really struggling with Fallout 4 here because we got that zero kilobytes error. If I didn't have the zero kill, I was behind the building. That shouldn't have counted. No! <laughs> My high score is so, so much better than what I've got going right now. Okay. Let's try this again. Come on, come on, come on. Man, I'm so bad at these kind of things. So when I was a kid, my grandpa actually had an Atari. And I used to try to play on it. And I was so bad at it because I started playing games when I was about five or six years old. I've, I think I've mentioned this before, probably. And the first game I ever played, or I should say attempted to play or pretended to play, because I wasn't good at it, was Doom. Uh, my dad was a, a big fan of Doom. And he thought, you know what my child needs to do? My young, young child needs to play Doom and needs to have that experience in life. So I played Doom for the first time, Ooh, and I thought that I was, I fancied myself a, a, you know, a gamer when I was that little, and I really loved playing Warcraft, and I, I should mention that I was really bad at playing Warcraft, but I loved it, and I tried to play the Atari, and I can't even remember what I was playing on it, but it must have been Pong or something, but I was so bad at it, and I, I can see that I have not gotten any better <laughs> with age. If anything, I think I've gotten worse, because now it's just embarrassing. Because now I play like these insanely difficult and awesome games, and I still can't do this. Look at those constant, like, hits! That is ridiculous. How am I supposed to ever win? The idea that all that happens after this is literally another level of Space Invaders is insanity. No! <laughs> I was so close that time! Oh my gosh. Just the thought though that like... Man, this is what I used to sit and do on my phone. Things like this and that cavern game. I wish I could remember the name of that cavern game. Played Snake. Things like that. Those games used to be like so cutting edge and kick ass. I remember my mom had one of the very first... She was one of the very first people I remember to have a cell phone. Um, and it, like a, a modern style cell phone, not like a giant 80s thing. Uh, she had like a, oh shit, she had like a Nokia style phone and it was, everything on it was blue. Like some of the phones back in the day had like black and white screens and some had colored screens and hers was blue and like all the letters and stuff were blue and it was like pretty dope at the time. And now, like, to look at it, it's so funny. I wish we had, like, pictures of it or something, because I can remember it really clearly. But I have no way to show it to anybody. But it's just so funny, because I used to play that cavern game constantly. Oh, I should have seen that. I used to play that cavern game all the time. I loved it. And I'd be like, Mom, come play with your phone. <laughs> and it was just, like, it was just so crazy. I remember when uh, it was a big deal when my friends all got texting and I didn't have it. And they were all like, oh my god, Amber doesn't text. And my parents were like, I'm not paying 30 cents per text message or whatever it was back in the day. Sorry, this is old, old person hour. All the youngins here are listening and they're like, they're like, yeah, you know, old people, life used to suck. 
Actually, I I did wonder the other day. I asked somebody, what did we do when we used to wait in line? Like, I don't remember waiting in line pre-cell phone. I actually have no memory of it. Maybe, we, did we talk to each other? Did, I mean, what did we do? Because we didn't even have headphones. Like, now I go to wait in line, and the first thing I do, I'm in the doctor's office, where you're, like, not supposed to use your cell phone, and what am I doing? I'm on my cell phone. Usually texting somebody or checking Twitter. Because, <laughs> God forbid, I don't check Twitter at the doctor's office, you know? It's so funny, too. I, like, I was, uh... I was at dinner with two older people. The type of people who blame millennials for being on their phones all the time. Both of them on their phone the whole time. And I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm kind of glad my grandma doesn't know how to use her cell phone because, man, that woman would be on the phone constantly. Oh, man. Grandma updates. I don't know if anybody has a grandma with a phone, but or who knows how to use her phone, excuse me. My grandma doesn't know how to use her phone, luckily. I can't even imagine what my grandmother would be sending out there. I have one grandma, though, who does use Facebook. And man, do I wish she didn't know how to use Facebook. Her Facebook updates are awful. <laughs> oh my gosh, I still can't figure this out. Okay, I've definitely got to get these down before they get closer to me, because they just start releasing so much faster then. Okay, come on, come on. This has become surprisingly enjoyable. At first, I was like, oh, man, this is going to be awful. I'm never going to be able to play this. For some reason, I'm, so, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I think I'm concentrating too much, though, on getting one section done instead of concentrating on the individual levels. Like, get all the little aliens gone first. I'm trying my best not to hit the, the houses because I need those for shelter later on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm getting a little bit better at this. Oh, I said that, and of course I immediately died. <laughs> That's just life. That's just life. Man, I bet there's people who are so good at this. It is kind of cool, though, when it kind of reignites people into checking out older games. I kind of like when games do that, bring back older things, and kind of give you a chance to experience it. I think the biggest reason I like it, I've been playing the Spiral Reignited trilogy lately, and gotta be honest, oh my gosh, it is just so cool to be playing it again and to know, like, kids now can play it, you know? That's really cool to be like, oh, okay, oh my gosh, it really does. It just gives me more. There's no way I'm ever gonna be able to do this. It's really cool to watch. Just like, kids now can, can see this thing that existed when you were a kid and this thing you loved and just it's so cool the nostalgia factor of it so awesome I would imagine for older players maybe who did play a bunch of Space Invaders it would be really cool to play Zeta Invaders because you'd just be like oh shit memories but like it's more than that because you know it's it's in a modern game and I don't know I just I think it's kind of cool I really like the idea of the holotape games. I just never ended up playing them. I know a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, I wanted to play Fallout, but I ended up playing holotape games. <laughs> and I just never ended up playing them because I, I guess I was so fixated on the story. Fallout 4 I didn't play for channel, so obviously you guys should know that. You probably know. Oh, here we go. Well, I got a new high score. Okay, let's try one more time. Uh, you guys probably know that I didn't play it on channel, but I didn't play it on channel, and it wasn't something that at the time I was interested in playing. Uh, on channel because I didn't have a channel I was playing it for myself and I love Fallout so it was just like a cool thing to do for myself and I went ahead and played it I was just so fixated on the story and falling in love with RJ McCready <laughs> that it just became a thing for me you know it's kind of funny I look back now and like Fallout I would say is definitely like that's where my handle obviously comes from um, and from the vaults was always like it's funny because that was like a, a name that I had picked out long before I ever had a YouTube channel or a Twitter like I just really liked Amber from the vaults I thought that sounded kind of cool and I wanted to do that so I ended up getting the Twitter account and then I never planned on having a YouTube channel as I've probably mentioned a ton of times you guys have probably heard me say 
I never planned on having a YouTube channel, so I never thought that the name would matter. But now it's funny because I'm just always going to be linked to Fallout because of that. Oh, dang it. I got too greedy. Oh, no! I killed the cow! I didn't mean to hurt the moo. Poor little moo moo. I didn't mean to hurt you. Come on, come on, come on. I'm sure there are people who can just time this amazingly. And to those people, I salute you. Oh my god, look at us. Look at us. We actually made it through to the next round. Without losing all our lives. Right, come on, come on, come on. I feel like I've become intimately acquainted with my X button right now. It's the only button I remember how to click anymore. Music is so minimal. No! I'm not going to be able to save that, Moo Moo. No! Well, there we go. <laughs> One more time, I promise, I promise, I'll stop. Okay. I can see why this is addicting, though. So I'm definitely want to do all the different games. In fact, I'm not even sure how, in what order I'm going to post any of this stuff. I just happened to have a little bit of spare time, and I was like, you know what? Let's do some holotape games. I've been really digging them. I've, I've really digging the idea of doing them. Excuse me, I haven't been digging them because I haven't been playing them. But I've been digging the idea of doing the holotape games. So I really wanted to go ahead and do them. So I have no idea what order I've posted these in. I've been doing that with mods, too, because I've been doing so much Fallout 76. And Fallout 76 is really, like, linear. You kind of... You have to post certain videos at certain times. That's kind of the way Fallout 76 works. Ooh, I should have gone the other way. That was dumb. I even saw it coming in my brain. I was like, nah, I'm just going to go over here. That was really dumb. But Fallout 76, you definitely have to play it in an order. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Whereas I can just kind of throw mods in whenever I can. But I've really been struggling with mods lately just because it's been so difficult to get mods uh, with the game. Oh, damn it, I killed the cow again. With the game just being so screwed up with that zero kilobytes error. So seriously, if you know how to fix that error, if you have any ideas, um, again, I'm always, uh, as always, I'm on PS4. So is what it is. I'm always going to be on PS4. But let me know if you know maybe a way to fix that zero kilobytes error. And I should explain it a little bit. For anybody who doesn't know, PlayStation 4 has this weird error with Fallout. And if you played the original Fallout 3 and New Vegas on PS3, you actually might be familiar with how the game used to just stop working and the lag would get so bad after you hit a certain point in the game that, in fact, playing like the Broken Steel DLC was almost impossible just because it was so difficult to get in and out of the game because you, you had so much lag. In fact, I don't even know how I completed the last mission. I lost Sharon and I have no idea how I lost him. Because I was just, I couldn't load. I had so much going on, I guess. I couldn't even load the last mission of the game. So I was so fucked up in that game in Fallout 3. And I think Fallout 4, the equivalence of the lag is actually the save error. Because it seems like it happens the more people save. Because everyone I hear talk about, it's like, I have over you know, 400, 600 hours in this game. And I'm totally screwed because now I can't play a game I've spent, you know, four, six hundred hours on. And people who have, you know, restarted new saves all the time don't seem to have the zero kilobytes error. So it seems to be something with using the same character and having, like, a legacy character. And I don't mind going back to an original... Oh, I swear I couldn't move. I don't mind going back to an older save and, like, trying to change, you know, from that older save. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I went right into that. Trying to do it from an older save or something. But my... Wow, that was really bad. <laughs> I've concentrated so much on what I'm saying. I don't mind reloading an older save, but if it's going to do the exact same thing again, it makes me not want to play it. Um, so I just, I have an issue with it, and I don't think, Bethesda's not, like, installing, or installing, they're not upgrading the game. They're not doing anything to help the game, and then I know of there's no unofficial patch at this point for, for PS4 that addresses the zero kilobytes era, error. Why do I keep saying era? That said, if you know, um, if you happen to know that there is a patch or something, an unofficial patch that I don't know about, please let me know. I'm more than happy to install anything that will help me make my game better. 
and make it better so I can actually play it for you guys. It really makes me sad, especially when I build these big, huge, giant, beautiful settlements, and then there's nothing I can do about it. I can't, I can't save the settlement. I can't continue building it. You know, it's so frustrating, especially when the game crashes, because you need to do, you know, periodic saves in order to prevent your game from crashing. But you can't do that if your game's gonna, if your game's gonna freeze. You know, it's just so frustrating. So anyway, if you have if you have ideas, go ahead and let me know in the comments there. Again, I've gone through everything that's on the Bethesda forum, so don't p give me the forum. Been there, done that, done everything. I've even deleted all my cloud saves. My saves actually aren't even on the cloud, which is really frustrating for me because I put everything on the cloud. They're on a random thumb drive in my desk drawer because I'm so nervous about losing all of my saves for Fallout 4. So every time I want to, ooh, every time I want to come back to the game, I have to reinstall them from that thumb drive because I'm so nervous. So it's very frustrating. Okay, let's see how far we can make it this time. So just a just a thing. I mean, I'm definitely gonna try to get back to doing mods very soon. I apologize about that. I know watching Pip Boy games probably isn't the most fun. But I've definitely been enjoying playing this right now. It's it's kind of it's kind of relaxing. Interestingly enough, it's kind of relaxing that I've just had the chance to play it. Oh, I see. So if the cow goes in, it doesn't matter. The cow goes in, I still lose 400 points. That doesn't quite seem fair. Oop, I'm hitting the building. That's dumb. There we go. Doing slightly better. Slightly better. Doesn't mean I'm doing well. No! There we go. <laughs> Hey there, thank you so much for watching me play Zeta Invaders here in Fallout 4. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me, and of course, it is a huge motivation to keep moving forward. Let me know in the comments which game you'd like to see me play next here in Fallout 4. And of course, as always, if there is mods you'd like to see me review, I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out how to fix my game. Let me know here in the comments. You can always comment here, or you can always hook up with me over on Twitter, at Amber from the Vault, spelled the same way here. No O in from, no E in the. I'm going to get out of here, but go ahead and click on that playlist on your screen that'll give you all of my Fallout videos, as well as that video that YouTube thinks you'd like based on your viewing history, and that picture of my big dumb head will subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time I put up a new video. Thank you so much, everybody. I will see you in the next one.